Hi and welcome. In this video we're going to be looking at the area and perimeter of two rectangles, but uh, what we're given is not measurements, but we're given um, expressions that define the the lengths and widths of these rectangles. So this, sorry, poorly drawn rectangle is our outer rectangle, and here is our inner rectangle. So we have two rectangles. And what are we given? Well, we're given expressions. And we're told that the inner rectangle, right, that this side right here is x plus 2. And that this side over here is 2x. In the larger, in the larger rectangle, we could say that this side is 4x, and that this side over here is 3x minus 6. When you get a question like this, there's all kinds of things they might ask. Uh, they might say something like, well, what's, what is the area of the outer rectangle? They might say in a fancy way and say, express the area of the outer rectangle in, in terms of these two polynomials. And what that means, of course, well, when you're finding area, let's call this rectangle, rectangle 1, right? If you're finding the area of rectangle 1, well, what are you going to do? You're going to multiply the two dimensions, right? The area of a rectangle is length times width. So this is our length, perhaps, and that's our width. So we do 3x minus 6 times 4x, and that is the area. Here, though, we're going to simplify. We're going to use the distributive property and multiply this term by both 6 and 3x. So what's, what is that? Well, I'm going to start with 3x times 4x. Pair those two up. And then, well, I'm going to subtract right, 4x times 6. And now I'm going to simplify. Well, 3x times times 4x is 12x squared. And 4x times 6 is 24x. So this is the outer, this is the area of rectangle 1, our outer rectangle. And the area of the inner rectangle, well, same principle. We're going to multiply the length times the width. So we have a second rectangle. And let's say x plus 2 is our length and and 2x is our, our height, or our width, and we're going to multiply x plus 2 times 2x. Same thing here, though. We're going to distribute 2x and multiply it by both 2 and x. 2x times x is 2x squared, plus 2 times 2x, right? If I simplify this, I'm going to get 2x squared plus 4x. So now we have two areas. And then, and this is pretty classic, right? Because now we're gonna, they're going to ask you, well, what is the area of this region right here? And usually they'll shade it in for you in some way. I'm highlighting it in green, which they probably won't do, but, but they can ask, what's the area of this region right here? And that's a fun question because really what you want to do is if you can think of that as, well, the area of the entire pink rectangle is, is this term right here. Right, and the the area of the rectangle in the middle here, right, this area, right there, is this expression right there, and you can see that this this shaded region is between those two areas, right, and if you want to, you can picture like that this this area in the middle, if you cut it out, if you had a scissor and you can cut it out of the shape, what would remain? Well, there'd be a hole here in the middle, and you'd have just the shaded region left, this green shaded region. And we're, we're not going to cut it out with the scissor here, but we're going to subtract, and that accomplishes the same thing. So to find the shaded region, right, we need to subtract this inner area from the outer area. In other words, we need to cut it out to make room for it. So now we're going to set that up. We get 12x squared minus 24x minus this up here. And I'm going to write over here so I have some room. So, well, I guess, yeah, I'll write over here. 12x squared minus 24x. And then I'm going to subtract 2x squared and 4x. What do I do now? Well, 12x squared minus 2x squared is 10x squared. 24x, well, this is really negative 24x, right? And if you're not convinced, you can 
switch it so it says adding a negative 24x. That's the same thing as subtracting 24, right? Adding a negative, subtracting a positive. Same thing here, so it's easier to think of this as adding a negative because now you can see, oh, it's negative 24x minus 4x. And what's that? Well, think about your number line, right? Here you have negative 24. Take 4 away, you go to negative 28, right? Subtract 4. So this is really negative 24x minus 4x is, is negative 28x. And this is the area of the shaded region, right? The difference between, right, between these two rectangles. Now, we're not sure exactly what they might ask you, but they might ask you to factor out or simplify this. And notice that both, both terms, 28x and 10x squared, have an x in it as one of the factors there. So you can pull that out, right? And now we set up our parentheses. And 10 and 28 are both even numbers, so they at least have two in common as a as a as a common factor, and um, so we can pull two out as well. So 2x is what we're pulling from each term, and then well, what's left? Well, 2x times 5x would make 10x squared minus 14, because 2x times negative 14 would give you negative 28x. So here's another way of writing out the area of the shaded region. It's just in factored form, right? We factored out a common factor from each term. All right, I hope this helps, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.